All right, guys. <clears throat> we are here at Monza for our week Saturday big race, points race. Um, as you can see, we have a running order of Jay Vroman, John Snow, Alex Moda, Michael Doherty, David Macedo, Jesse Albert, Kyle Macedo, Joe Marsiglia, Eric Miller, or excuse me, Evan Miller, Pedro Perez, and Eric Tong. So that's our qualifying order for this week's race. Um, let's go over the point standings right now. Coming into this race, Mike Doherty is in first with 83 points. In second is John Snow with 60 points. Third is David Macedo with 51 points. Tied for third is Andre Marchishan, also 51 points. Uh, fourth is Jay Vroman with 36. Fifth is Pedro Perez with 21 points. Sixth is Joe Marsiglia with 18. Tied with him in sixth also is Mark Pedersen with 18. Seventh is Eric Tong. Eighth is Jesse Al excuse me, Eric Tong has 16 points. Uh, eighth is Jesse Albert with 15 points. Ninth is Kyle Macedo with 12 points. And rounding out the top 10 is Robert Everett with 8 points. So that's our current point standings coming into tonight's race. Um, anybody who's played very much of ACC knows that Monza is a uh, very, very commonly driven track. It may be overdriven uh, in the public servers and things such as that. It's, it's run a lot. It's a very fast track. And we've had a lot of speed here all week. Uh, everybody has tightened up. The group has tightened up and gotten faster and faster throughout the week. So we look forward to a good race tonight. Uh, we do have a couple of new drivers with us. We have Alex Moda is new this week. And he's driving that green and orange Porsche. Um, Evan Miller is also new. He is driving the green and multicolored Audi. Uh, those guys are just joining us for the first time. Everybody else has been here um, off and on. But um, we look forward to a good race tonight. We are going to be running 33 laps. So let's get to the uh, to the start of the warm up lap here. All right, there we go. <coughs> so 33 laps tonight. There is, of course, as always, the mandatory pit stop. It's a 20 minute pit window in the middle of a 60 minute race. Jay Roman has shown blistering speed here all week. So has Jon Snow. Uh, Alex Moto is really fast here tonight and uh, also really fast here on Friday night for the practice races. Um, Mike Doherty is in fourth and he's been really... He's, re he's been really consistent here. I don't know if I would say he was been really fast here. This maybe isn't his fastest track, but he, he's in the top four, and we all know that he's the kind of guy that's usually there at the end of the race. So we expect him to be challenging for a position up front. He's our points leader coming into tonight. So um, Then behind him, you've got David Macedo, David has done really well here all week so far he uh david just seems to get a little bit faster every week so i'm not really surprised by anything that he does at this point uh kyle macedo right there with him in sixth place he's he's had a lot of speed this week too and then jesse albert um he's fast pretty much everywhere we go so the lexus i think is Maybe not quite as fast at this track as it is at some of the other tracks, but Jesse's still a dangerous driver, so you got to watch out for him. Joe Marsiglia, um, 
he's he's Joe always gets good starts in races. It seems like he he's always done really well at the beginning of races. Uh, we saw him doing really well. I think it was Spa. He was doing really well at the beginning, and then had an incident that kind of messed up his race. He was, I think, in the top three at Laguna Seca last week before he had an off-track incident that put him way back in the back of the pack. But uh, if he can get a good start here and survive turn one, we might see see something special from Joe here. Um, Evan Miller, we don't really know. He, he hasn't... He, he's only been with us for a couple of days, so we're still waiting to see what he can do in a race situation. Pedro, as you know, is uh, doing way better than everybody expected and is doing a great job. He's still getting a little bit faster every single week. And then Eric Tong is... Uh, he's been with us a few times uh he's from the exiled racing league so he's one of the the over overshoots from that league uh so we're glad to have him with us also you see everybody getting formed up here let's change to the uh the overhead camera everybody getting formed up coming through the final turn here getting ready for the start of the race guys trying to and there's the green flag so we're off racing um, you see Mel Moto getting plenty of slipstream off of uh, Roman there does a good job getting in front of snow it's pretty bunched up behind these guys. Nice and tight through there. Too wide. Everybody keeping it clean. Really thick traffic. Doing a good job holding on to it. You see Doherty falling back a little bit. We've seen him do that pretty much all season long at the beginning of races. Where he kind of falls back and then catches back up later. Um, behind him is Albert. So we'll see if these guys can... Roman leading the way can keep it clean there look like some contact there between Doherty and somebody you see Doherty coming in here Kamacito right on the back of Jon Snow and oh it looks like Jesse got the got into the back of Mike Doherty and then gives him the position back so good sportsmanship there by Jesse uh, giving him the spot back that's a good job by him uh, hopefully Jesse didn't take too much damage on the front of that car there we'll see what happens there back up to the front Roman as we switch back to the TV cameras Roman is starting to pull a little bit of a gap on Alex Moda we know Jay is really really fast around this track there you see Moda with David Macedo and Jon Snow right on him see Jon Snow making a move there looking to the outside of David Macedo he's gonna have to fall back in line looks like well maybe not he's still holding on to that outside line but yeah he's gonna fall back in behind David there that's not gonna be pretty hard to make the outside stick on that turn but you see our our leaders coming down here a little bit of a gap between Broman and Moda. A gap between Moda and Macedo. And then you got Jon Snow who's right on David. And then Joe Marsiglia behind him. And then the rest <clears throat> the rest of the pack is back there behind that. Uh, let's see, Marsiglia. You see Doherty off the track there, getting back on the track. Evan Miller trying to stay in front of this bunch of cars that are behind him.
really close racing by Jesse Albert and Eric Tong there. Albert looking for the inside coming into this turn here. He's going to make the pass on Eric. So showing some good pace there. You see Doherty behind Pedro. Some good close racing by these guys right here. Let's check back to the front. So we got Roman in first, Moda in second, David Macedo and John Snow in third and fourth. Everybody spaced out a little bit except Snow and Macedo. Love the paint scheme on that Porsche that Moda is driving. That green and orange is just such a good looking color scheme. Here we see Snow looking to the inside this time. Coming down the front stretch. It doesn't look like he's going to be able to pull that off. So he dives in behind him into the braking zone. You see some contact there between some of these guys. Really don't know what happened there. Let's see if we can take a look at it. Oh, Albert. I can't tell if he actually made contact with we got Jesse coming down here. He tries to bail out of it at the last second, but he does get a piece of Evan Miller. So that's a Everybody's still going after that, but We've got Marsiglia hanging in here behind Jon Snow. Eric Tong doing pretty good up into sixth place right now. Meanwhile, Snow and Macedo continue to battle. John is all over the back of David. Looking around the outside this time. But once again, this is not a great place to be on the outside, so he's just going to have to let David get back in front of him. This is where you can get people right here if you get a better run coming out of these turns. But you see David did a really good job. He was able to maintain speed through there. So John's not really able to get much of a run on him. We'll see if he tries to go down the inside here. Not really. But he's got the inside coming through the sweeper. Gets back on the throttle maybe a little bit before David does. And is able to make the pass. Nice pass by John Snow right there. That's very well done. Good move by him. And now it's up to David to see if he can get that position back. So these guys continue to battle. Then we got Eric Tong here in sixth. Evan Miller in seventh, followed by Jesse Albert. Oh, Miller gets loose there. Looks like he's going to lose the back of the car and he's off the track. That's going to give Albert the position. Now Kyle Macedo trying to make the pass also, and he does. We see Mike Doherty way back there. And he's got some damage on that car. Not sure what happened to him. You know, Mike has traditionally kind of dropped back in the pack at the start of races. But I think this is the first time that it really kind of hurt him. Uh, he's done it traditionally and been able to, by the end of the race, be back up towards the front. But it looks like he's got pretty considerable damage on that Aston Martin. 
So he might be struggling with that car. We can take a little bit of a look on board. Can't really see much there, but definitely had an incident of some type. So back up to the front, Jave Roman has pulled out a 2.9 second gap on Alex Moda. Moda hanging in there, but very slowly losing time to Jay. Meanwhile, Jon Snow has gapped David Macedo. I don't know what happened to David, but there's a pretty big gap between those two guys now. Showing 3.8 seconds. David, in the meantime, is dealing with Joe Marsiglia, who's caught up to him. So David all the way back in, well it shows him in fourth, is that correct? Yeah, that is correct. Okay, so he's back in fourth still. Um, just fell back off of Jon Snow a little bit. We'll see if Joe has anything for David Macedo. David is pretty fast here. Uh, just maybe had a little bit of an off track or some, some kind of incident that lost him some time so that he lost touch with Jon. Let's get back up here to the front. We got Alex Moda. He is now 3.7 seconds behind Jave Roman. So he's steady, losing just a little bit of time to Roman. And Jon Snow is trying to run him down. Jon Snow is two seconds behind Alex Moda right now. <clears throat> so Moda's just got to settle in, try to turn out some good laps. He's shown himself to be, he's brand new, we don't know a lot about Alex yet, but he's shown himself to be a good consistent driver. Uh, he puts in pretty consistent lap times, and I mean he's fast enough to be running second right now, so he's definitely got speed to go with it. John has cut that lead down to a 1.797, so he is slowly gaining on Moda. Meanwhile, back here, David Macedo has pulled away from Joe a little bit. Um, take a look back. Everybody's a little bit spaced out. Jesse Albert, Kyle Macedo, Evan Miller, Mike Doherty is kind of in no man's land out here. And five seconds behind him is Pedro Perez. So, um, Not a whole lot to look at there. Um, take a look at what the split is. The split is back up to 2.2 seconds. So Moda has gained a little bit on Jon Snow. I don't know if Jon had a little bit of a, of a mistake or what happened, but he gained a little bit on him. He was steady losing time to Jon Snow. But he's consistently losing time to Jay Broman. Jay's got it up to a 4.5 second lead now for first. Jay has shown a ton of speed here. Um, he's run this track from what he says quite a lot. So he knows this track really, really, really well. And Jay's already probably the fastest guy in the league. So uh, we're glad to have him back this week after uh, missing last, last week's race. We're glad to have Jay back with us. So you see here when they cross the line, John has the gap cut down to a 1.5 second gap to Moda as of the last split. So he's gaining on him. look on board with John. John is a very consistent driver. He's very, very steady. Doesn't make very many mistakes. Very good rhythm as a driver. Never seems to be too heavy on the throttle or the brake. Just very consistent. Smooth. He's very, very smooth. And so if he has the pace to catch somebody, he's going to catch them lap after lap after lap because he is just going to be running about the same lap every race. So you see right here, see when the next split pops up. Right now it's saying 1.7 seconds. Let's 
take a look when the next one comes up. You see them nice and steady through there. Yeah, the next split just popped up. Now it's 1.4 seconds. So he is slowly reeling in Alex Moda. <clears throat> Meanwhile, on board with Moda. He's run a really good race so far. Just doesn't quite have the pace of Roman or Snow. Closer to Snow but can't quite catch Roman. Roman, well he's caught up to Roman a little bit the last lap because the lead is down to 4.3 seconds. So he actually cut two tenths off of Roman's lead. So that's good, that's an improvement there. But he's losing time to Jon Snow who would appear to be the fastest guy on the track right now because he is gaining on Moda who is gaining on Roman. So John is only 1.2 seconds behind now. And it feels like it's just a matter of time before he's going to catch Alex here. You see David Macedo, he's about six seconds behind Jon Snow, so he's not really in a battle with anybody right now. Meanwhile, you hear, here you see Moda coming down this long street. This set of curves right here, coming over that last bumper, uh, Alex had an incident in practice and he had an incident in qualifying in that exact spot, coming over that last bumper through those those turns before the long straight. And uh, both times he suffered quite a bit of damage to his car. Uh, so. Hopefully he can make it through there throughout the race Let's see what the split is here John seems to still be gaining on him just from the eyeball test yeah it's down to 0.9 seconds so he's he's just slowly but surely gaining it on him lap after lap Got it back up to 1.3 seconds on snow, at least on the on the on the scoreboard. That's what it shows. But it looks like snow has just about caught up to him now. That split's got to be smaller than 1.3 seconds. He's right on him coming down this long stretch here. A lot of high-speed areas on this track. Um, see what the updated split shows. The area the the way this track is laid out, yes, yeah, Snow's got it to a .688, so he's right on him. These long stretches gives the guy behind a little bit of an advantage because he can slipstream and catch the car in the front. So if you can just get within reach of somebody, just get close enough where you can actually get that slipstream, you have quite an advantage. We'll see. John's not that much faster than Alex, so we'll see what he can do with him once he actually catches him. Because it's going to be hard for him to to make the pass. See him coming through turn one here. Moda gets off the track just a little bit. John jumps to the outside. It's a drag race around this turn. Really close there. You see how evenly matched they are in speed. Snow seems to have the advantage. 
John is going to think better of him too wide, so he he backed out of it and let Moda take the you know, hold the position. So it's back to work for John. Pretty good move there, but I understand why he didn't want to go through there too wide. We saw uh, an incident in that same part of the track during one of our practice races on Friday night. Uh, a couple of guys trying to go too wide through there, and they just came together. So probably a good call by John. You see he's keeping the pressure really strongly on him, though. John gets another great run on him right here, coming down this long straight. He's going to have another opportunity coming down the front stretch after this last turn. Moda got a pretty good run out of that last turn, though, so he, he was able to keep him from getting right on him on that stretch. Pretty good job there. It seems like John's a little faster right here through turn one. He kind of catches up to him right there. All right, so I'm looking. There's not too many battles going on elsewhere, but this one here, we've got Eric Tong followed by Evan Miller, and Kyle Macedo is right in front of them. So we got three cars battling right here. It's a little bit spread out now. Let's get back to the front up here. We got, wow, John is really on him close now. Moto coming down this long straight. John's going to look to the inside. Coming into that big sweeping turn, but backs out of it, looks like. Trying to get a run coming out of the final turn. Looks like he's got a pretty good one. Now he's got the slipstream helping him. John's going to look around the outside. The defensive line there by Alex, able to maintain, but definitely, definitely under pressure. Uh, we haven't really ever seen Alex in this type of situation, so. It's good to see that he's able to race good and clean with these guys, uh, he, him being new to the group. This is kind of our first real showing of what he can do, and he's definitely not disappointing. John gets a really good run coming through there again. He's up beside him this time, maybe even a little bit in front of him, coming down the straight. We'll see what he can do with it. He's going to be on the outside, though, but never mind. He makes the pass there. He is able to get around Alex there. Alex may have let him go a little bit. I'm not sure, but good clean racing by both of these guys. Now we'll see if Moda can keep up with snow. I 
I don't know if either one of these guys have anything for Jay if Jay continues to race the way he's racing. He's got it up to 9.3 seconds for the lead, so he's he's pretty far up there. But John has shown really good pace. His fastest lap was a 148.9. His last lap was a 149.5, so about six tenths different between his fastest and the last lap there. But he was battling for position, so that definitely slows you down. Let's take a look back here and see if there's any battles going on. It doesn't look like anybody's very close together right now. Everybody's kind of spaced out. It's pretty spaced out back here, so we'll get back up to the front. Oh, wow. Uh, John has pulled a pretty significant gap on Alex now, so he's kind of all by himself. take a look at the lap time difference now that John has a little bit of breathing room. He ran a 149.0. Jay ran a 148.8, so he's not catching Broman. He's actually losing a little bit of time to Broman. So as fast as John is here, I don't know if he's fast enough to challenge Jay, unless Jay makes a mistake, which is, you know, not as, it, I was going to say it's always possible, but Jay has been more consistent as of late than he was when we first started this group he whoa as we see him there off the track just bailed on the turn I guess he was not not thinking he was gonna make it through there just totally bailed on the turn so we'll see if that affects the time split very much I don't know if it will see what the next split is here you see him hitting a lot of that curb right there You can see how big the gap is. John is way back there. The split's down to 8.7 because of that mistake by Vroman, but I'm not sure. You see Moda, he's quite a ways behind John Snow here. So our running order right now is Vroman. Snow, Moda, Macedo, Marsiglia, Albert, Maci or, excuse me, David Macedo in fourth, and then Kyle Macedo in seventh, Pedro Perez, Eric Tong, Mike Doherty, and Evan Miller. So now what we're looking at is we're going to have to start looking towards pit strategy. Who's going to do what? Uh, I know last week's race, uh, first and second place both went one set of tires the entire race. Uh, didn't take tires. Um, John Snow was the, was the one who dominated that race, and he didn't take tires at Laguna Seca. So we'll see if he thinks he can do that here at Monza or if he thinks better of it be interesting to see on that front so Alex is at 2.5 seconds off of snow right now you can see how big of a gap that is on this long straight here. It's a pretty wide gap.
You see Jay up there ahead. So you see um, a familiar face in Jay Roman out front. It's not uncommon to see Jon Snow in the front also. A new face in Alex Moda running in third, uh, which he certainly, I mean, I know he maybe doesn't know this yet, but he sh certainly shouldn't be upset about that because the two guys in front of him are really, really fast. So, And he's got some fast drivers behind him. He's got David Macedo behind him, about five seconds behind him. Uh, Joe Marsiglia behind that. Jesse Albert is back in sixth. <coughs> and uh, just haven't really heard much from Mike Doherty. You see him there, but it doesn't look like he's battling for position. Either that or the scoreboard is incorrect, I'm not sure. I think Doherty might have hit it already. Yeah, he did, because that damage on the front of his car has been repaired. So Doherty has already pitted, so he pitted early in the pit window. So that's going to give him uh, the speed back that he seemed to have lost before. Let's see what he can do with that now. Check back over here. John's up to a 4.1 second gap on Moda. Take a look. Oh, okay. Roman's in the pits. I missed that. So Roman already hit the pits on lap 16 at the beginning of lap 16, or excuse me, lap 17. So Jay is in the pits. That is going to put Jon Snow up into first and Alex Moda up into second. So it looks like Jay did take tires, so it makes you wonder if Jon Snow was to not take tires. You know, every track's a little bit different how much time you can make up in the pits. Some tracks you can make up a lot of time in the pits. Uh, but it'd be interesting to see if Snow doesn't take tires. Okay, here comes Snow and Moda. Moto's caught right back up to them, so they're coming into the pits together. This is going to give the lead of the race to David Macedo. He's going to move into first. So we see John here and Alex Moda both pitting. So we'll see who does what. Looks like these guys are both taking tires, so taking tires and maybe some fuel. So the running order is going to be really upside down as you hear some guys flying by who have not pitted yet. Moda is going to get out of the pits first. He is going to be in front of John. So all that time that John spent running Moda down and passing him, and he ends up losing the position back in the pits. So that has got to be frustrating for John. Not only that, he's going to be, looks like 
couple seconds back, so he's going to have to make up another gap on Alex. Okay, so meanwhile, David Macedo is out in first. Let's see if he... Nope, he's not going to hit. Jesse Albert moves up in the second. Now, he is... I believe, yeah, he is quite a ways behind David Macedo. And he's got Mike Doherty right behind him, but Doherty is being shown in ninth place. So, the Doherty we know has already pitted, so these two guys are not racing for position. This is two guys running two, basically two separate races right now. Okay, so Jay is being shown in third. He's coming down the front stretch right now. He's 24 seconds behind Jesse, but those guys still have to pit. So even though he's being shown in third, he is effectively the leader of the race. Um... Let's take a look back at this battle for second place. Uh, pay no attention to the scoreboard. These guys are battling for second right now. You see Alex seems to have widened the gap a little bit on Jon Snow. They were quite a bit closer before. So Alex looking pretty good after his pit stop. We'll see if he can hold off John to try to maintain second. Let's go back to the front. You see David Macedo once again does not pit. Now we've seen this from David all year, uh, all season. David usually pits very late in the pit window. He doesn't, doesn't pit early. I guess that's a testament to just how good he is at managing tires uh, because somebody who's desperate for new tires would never do that. But David always waits until late in the pit window to make his pit stop so we'll see what happens with that he is currently 22.8 seconds ahead of Jesse Albert so he is all by himself out here running in first place right now and you see the the conditions have changed from Sun into cloud it's it's getting overcast on the track no doubt the track has cooled down some. And that's going to affect people's tire temperatures. It's going to affect, you know, a little bit of everything for the rest of the race, depending on what the weather does the rest of the race. So we see David. He's out in the lead. Let's check back on this battle here. It's up. It's at two seconds right now, the gap between Moda and Snow. two seconds now he's he looks like he's gapped him a little bit more possibly yeah it's up to 2.4 seconds now so Alex showing some great pace after his pit stop I don't know if he made some changes to the car or if he's just settled in I'm not really sure but he's looking really strong right now meanwhile David Macedo still has not pitted, so he's still out there on his original tires, running out in front. Opting for the long strategy, as he often does. Let's see if he can make it pay off for him. Remember, David was running in fourth place um, before those guys started pitting so and he was a pretty decent bit of time behind 
Alex Moda, who was behind Jon Snow. So he was back in fourth place, but there was a pretty big gap from third to fourth. So David just trying to make up as much time as he can on these tires. He's running good laps, it looks like, so we'll see what he can do. Meanwhile, Broman is 15 seconds behind Alex, or excuse me, Jesse Albert. <coughs> you see some lap traffic here in front of Broman. Okay, so. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Did Jesse just pit? Is that what just happened? Yes, okay, so Jesse just came in the pits. So his pit stop is done. We'll see where that shakes out for him, what position he's going to be in. You don't see anybody coming down the front stretch there. So he is going to end up, you see Alex Moda up ahead of him there. So he's going to fall back into fifth place, I believe. We'll wait till it shakes out here in a minute. So here, meanwhile, we got Moda followed by Snow. It's back to two seconds, 2.0. Oh, excuse me, it just changed back up to 2.4. So Alex is losing time to him and then gaining time to him. So he's maintaining this lead on Jon Snow much better than he was in the first half of the race. Doing a really good job right now. So we're 21 laps into the race out of 33. So Jesse is being shown in fifth place in front of Joe Marsiglia. Meanwhile, David Macedo still has not pitted. So he is still holding on to the lead. You see Jay back there behind him. So Jay is gaining on him. Is that right? Because the scoreboard is showing Jace 37 seconds behind David. But the eyeball test shows Jay right behind David, so I'm not real sure. Okay, now it says he's three seconds behind. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We missed something here. We missed something. Oh, what we missed is we missed David Macedo coming into the pits. That's what we missed. So David was in first. He comes into the pits. So he is actually going to come out in front of Jay Roman. He's going to maintain the lead. He doesn't take tires. Oh, wow. So David Macedo with the Hail Mary goes for the big play not taking tires and ends up coming out in front of Jay Roman that is a huge turn of events so you see Jay there coming down the stretch behind him bold strategy by David Macedo now remember David was running in fourth place when the pit stop started he's now all the way up into first the only question is how much time is he going to lose to Roman with those older tires? Because uh, we know Roman did take tires, and we know Jay is really fast around this track. Being shown 3.2 seconds behind David here. Meanwhile, behind him, so this battle between Alex Moda and Jon Snow is now for third place. It's no longer for second place, it's for third place. 
and I guess it never actually was a battle for second because David was in the lead back then, so I was incorrect when I said that was a battle for second. We'll see what David can do on these older tires. Jay's already got it down to a 2.1 second gap, so he's catching him pretty quickly. Alex Moda is 16.7 seconds behind Vroman, so that's a pretty wide gap there. You see he's pretty good gap in front or between him and Jon Snow, so he's still maintaining 2.3 second gap right now on Jon Snow. So David... He's got to be loving this situation. I mean, I'm sure he's not loving the fact that Jay's running it down at a blistering pace, but he's got to be loving the fact that he leapfrogged all three of these guys in the pits. Because if he can make it stick, he's going to gain positions, at least one or two positions. I don't know if he'll have enough speed to be able to hold off Roman, but you just never know. Like Jay got a little bit a little bit loose there coming through that turn. He's got the gap down to 1.6 seconds. You see it's really getting overcast now. Looking pretty dark outside. The gap between Alex Moda and Jon Snow is now up to 2.7 seconds. So Moda showing some more speed in the second half of this race that he didn't really seem to have in the first half of the race. I don't know if John has anything for him or not. He's maintained this lead for or this gap for a good little while now. A few laps at least. So we'll see what John can do. Really love the paint scheme on that Porsche beautiful looking car. Meanwhile here we could come down the front stretch. David Macedo just trying to hold on to it. Roman has it under a second now. It's down to 0.8 seconds. So he's catching him. He's going to catch him. He's just about caught him already those better tires he's just going to be quicker through these turns We know Jay is not afraid to race somebody really close and really aggressive. He's a really fast driver and you can see it there, he's right up on David now. Kind of bobbing and weaving behind him. You see he swings to the outside here coming down this long straight. He's able to get alongside of him. And Macedo, looked like Macedo just backed out of it right there and kind of let him go. Um, they were about to go too wide through there, which was probably not going to be good for anybody. So Macedo loses the lead of the race, but he's still a long ways ahead of Alex Moda. He's 16.7 seconds ahead of Alex Moda, who is still over two seconds ahead of Jon Snow. So these guys have got to be wondering, why am I in third place? And John's got to be wondering, why am I in fourth place? What happened? And they've got David in front of them quite a ways out. So we know David's not really going to have anything for Broman uh, as far as pace, unless Jay makes a mistake, you know, it would take him off the track or some kind of mistake because Broman is, not only was he faster here from the beginning, but he has much better tires. So. so we see Jon Snow's got the gap down to 1.5 seconds 
on Moda. And then John back up the two seconds. So Alex is doing his best to hold him off. Meanwhile, up in front of him there, looks like that's Evan Miller. Some lap traffic they're going to have to deal with here in a couple of minutes. So Roman has moved the gap up to 2.2 seconds over David Macedo. And you would expect him to just kind of slowly pull away. He's been the fastest guy on the track the entire race. So unless he makes a mistake, he's going to continue to, to kind of move away from David on those older tires. But if you look at Moda, he is just now coming into the first turn and David Macedo is well beyond that so he's he's still got the gap at 15.1 seconds with about eight laps to go so 15.1 seconds is going to take some kind of mistake from David Macedo for these guys to catch him it would seem and so far he's ran a really great race David has Meanwhile, John Snow back down to 1.5 seconds. So he keeps getting it down to around 1.6, 1.5, and then Moto drags it back out to a two, you know, two seconds plus gap on him. You see Moto get a little bit off the track there. Hits that curb right there and just loses it coming through the turn. Ends up in the wall. Take a look at that from the onboard camera. This is the same place where he had an incident in practice and in qualifying. Just that back tire catches the curb. Lucky to keep it from going nose first into the wall there. But he's going to lose touch with Jon Snow. That's going to cost him third place. Hopefully he didn't sustain too much damage there. So Snow is going to move up into third. He's got a wide gap to try to catch David Macedo. Uh, 3.5 seconds. So if you think about it, it's been several laps since they both, or since David Macedo pitted. And Broman has only pulled a 3.5 second lead on Macedo since he passed him. So even though David is on those old tires, he's still turning some really great laps. So he's, he's running a great race. Let's take a look here. Jon Snow, he's going to have to deal with Evan Miller here at some point. You see Alex Moda still hanging in there, but we don't know how much damage is done to that car. If it's giving him a hard time, you see a lot of paint damage uh, from scraping alongside the wall, but... Not sure what kind of pace he's gonna have. You see David catch a lot of the curb right there coming through those couple of turns. One 
once you get back in the group here, let's see Jesse Albert, he is quite a ways behind Alex Moda. Marsiglia is 14 seconds behind Albert. You see the damage on Jesse's car. Yeah, so he's 16 seconds behind Moda. Marsiglia is 12.9 seconds behind him, so Jesse's kind of in no man's land right now. He's kind of out on his own. Marsiglia, 12 point seconds behind the car in front. Let's see if the split will pop up so we can see. So he's 12.8 seconds ahead of Kyle Macedo. So these guys are all pretty spread out. And then we got Mike Doherty, who is, oh wow, he is quite a ways behind Kyle Macedo. That's a pretty big gap as far as where they're at on the track. Kyle's coming through the final turn. Doherty hasn't even started. They just started the stretch to the final turn. So that's a big gap. That's 23 second gap there. Pedro's 11.5 seconds behind him. And then Evan Miller, he's quite a ways behind because he is dealing with the leaders right now. John has made his way past him. Now Alex Moda is going to try to make his way past. And Eric is in the pits. So that's our running order for right now. So Jay is still dominating. He's... 5.6 seconds ahead of David Macedo now, so he's pulled out a pretty good gap. Take a look on board and just see how these tires are holding up for David. If you look really closely, you can see Jay Roman up ahead, but he's way up ahead. like he's struggling with the tires too much he's just kind of taking it nice and steady John Snow has pulled a 4.8 second gap on Alex Moda Moda got around Evan Miller there Everybody is pretty spread out right now. Then there's a very large gap between Alex Moda and Jesse Albert. It looks like Joe Marsiglia is catching Albert. an 11.5 second split right now. We'll keep an eye on that. Jay coming up on Pedro here. You see David back there. He is, I'm not sure what this, he's eight seconds behind Jay right now, so he's falling back there. Um, let's take a look here. We got Jesse who is still 11.4 seconds ahead of Joe Marsiglia. So Joe's not 
not catching him at any kind of blistering pace or anything like that. Okay, so a lot of action throughout the race, but now things have kind of settled down. Everybody's pretty spread out. Not a lot going on at this moment. We've got about three laps to go. So unless somebody makes a big mistake, uh, this looks like it's gonna be our finishing order for everybody. You see Marsiglia has that lead down to Albert down to eight seconds, but with three laps to go, I don't think there's, unless Jesse makes a big mistake, I don't think there's much he's going to be able to do there. You see Jay catching up to Pedro here. Pedro is our newest driver as far as driving experience goes in this league he's he's the um, he was only a couple of weeks into his sim racing career whenever we started the league and he's been with us from the beginning and Pedro has managed to never finish a race in last place so he he has scored points in every race that we have had this season, so he's been nice and consistent. He's still building speed week after week. He seems to get a little, little bit faster and a little bit faster. So he's got a, a bright future in sim racing for sure. So we see Jay's fastest lap was a 148.288, so that's a really fast lap around here. Take a look at what David's fastest lap was a 149.2, John Snow 148.8, Alex Moda 148.8, Jesse Albert 149.7. So Jay with that 148.2 is six tenths ahead of anybody else in the race as far as the fastest lap now that doesn't always equate to a win but here it looks like it's going to CJ catching an awful lot of the curbs, uh, even still looking like he's really pushing, even though he's quite a ways out in front. That gap to David Macedo is a 10.99 second gap now, so he's, he's really widened the margin on David, which is to be expected with those older tires. But John is still 11.5 seconds behind David, so unless David makes a huge mistake, uh, John is not going to be able to catch him with one lap to go here. So we're on the final lap. Roman just trying to bring it home.
Joe is out of gas. He actually just ran out of gas with one lap to go. And that has got to be heartbreaking for him because he was in line to finish in fifth, or excuse me, sixth. He was catching Jesse Albert and just ran out of gas. So Broman here on the last lap. Coming through this, gets a lot of the curb there again really still taking risks despite being on the last lap I guess that's just Jay in a nutshell but here he comes looking to take the checkered flag see the checkered flag for Broman flashes the lights he's got a win under his belt here at Monza David Macedo is going to finish it off at second great bit of strategy from him to take no tires and leapfrog the two guys in front of him John Snow coming around in third place great race by him you see Alex Moda in fourth got to be happy with that considering he could have lost the whole thing with that contact with the wall really good save by him to keep it out of the wall and then we got Jesse who's gonna finish fifth I think all things considered a fifth place finish is pretty good for some of the things that went on through the race for Jesse he's got to be happy with that We've got Kyle Macedo here, going to finish sixth. Mike Doherty, seventh. by far the worst finish for Mike since the league began since our season started so he's got to be okay so that's the end of the race there all right so let's go back to the beginning of the race suddenly it's sunny again so we'll follow these guys battling meanwhile Let's talk about the updated points. Updated points for the championship after tonight's race at Monza. We've still got Mike Doherty in first with 89 points. But because of his finish tonight, he only gained six points. So he's got 89 points, still holds on to the lead. John Snow is in second with 75 points. Um, David Macedo is in third with 69 points. So he's catching up to John Snow. That finish tonight really helped him in the point standings. Catching up to John. Uh, Jay Broman is in fourth with 61 points. Andre Marchician's points stay the same, but he is in fifth currently with 51 points. Jesse Albert in sixth with 25 points. And Pedro Perez is tied with him in sixth place with 25 points. Kyle Macedo is up to 20 points now in seventh. Joe Marsiglia with 19 points running in eighth on the championship. Uh, Mark Pedersen has 18 points. 
and Eric Tong is in 10th with 16 points. Now Alex Moda, this was his first race, race with us, he's in 11th with 12 points. So that's the updated point standings for, for our championship. Next week, next week we go to our first ever night race. It's going to be at a Hungara ring and it's going to be a night race. Uh, we're going to be practicing in the in the dark all week to try to get guys used to that kind of uh, environment. A lot of guys have said that they've never ran in the dark before, so we're gonna we're gonna be trying that out and hopefully have a great race for everybody. And uh, that'll be next Saturday. So, as always, I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you want to join us, the the uh, server link for our Discord will be in the description of the YouTube video. Uh, so please click on that and come and join us. Um, uh, anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next week.